Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the Noah Group Megatron Metal Queen bed frame. This bed frame requires assembly that takes about 30 to 45 minutes. You'll receive a total of 7 feet, 3 across the middle, and 4 corners. Then there are 2 center struts and 2 collapsing sidebars. These are the center crossbars, and there are 4 struts for the front and back. The final 20 pieces are narrow slats that the mattress will sit on. The slats are thin and hollow. They're about 1 inch tall and half an inch wide, so we'll see how durable they end up being. You'll also receive a bag of hardware with 24 short screws, 2 long screws, 26 nuts, an allen wrench, and a nut wrench. Last but not least is the illustrated instruction sheet, which doesn't have any words, so you'll just have to match up the pieces to the marked letters. One of the things that I didn't like was that some of the bars I received had scratches on them where the pieces were touching in the box and it scraped off the paint. There were also minor scuffs, tiny dents, and cosmetic defects that didn't affect the frame structurally. Let's go ahead and assemble this bed. We'll start with the two collapsible side pieces and four corner legs. Pay attention to the orientation because the legs with the two holes should be at the head of the bed in case you want to attach a headboard. The legs without the holes go at the foot of the bed. For a majority of the assembly, you'll be using the shorter screws and nuts. The two long screws are to be used at the very end. We'll start by unfolding one of the sidebars and attaching both legs. Feed the screws into the holes from the outside of the frame and attach the nuts on the inside. It may take a bit of jiggling to get the screws all the way through. I found the best way to tighten the screws is to place the nut wrench over the nut and hold it steady while you fit the allen wrench into the head and turn it clockwise. That's one side done. Now let's do the other. Again, attach the leg at the head and then at the foot of the bed. Next, we're going to assemble the two horizontal struts for the head and foot of the bed to create a rectangular frame. The tabs on the feet should face inward towards the center of the frame. Lining up the holes for these pieces were the trickiest part during my setup. If you have trouble fitting the strut into the bracket or lining up the holes, you might have better luck by simply flipping the bar over. In almost all cases, flipping the bar over allowed me to align the screw holes and assemble pieces that didn't seem to quite fit together. Now we can attach the headboard strut to both sidebars, using two screws on each side. We'll do the same at the foot of the bed. Now that the outside frame is complete, let's put together the two crossbars that serve as the spine down the middle for holding the slats. Make sure that the brackets for the slats are facing up, and at each end you have a screw hole on top. In the middle, the screw holes will be on the sides, and these four pieces will attach to the foot that goes in the center of the bed frame. That's where we'll use the last two and final long screws. Attach the horizontal crossbars on the sides first. Just drop a screw down through the bar and into the bracket. It helps to support the bar with your leg or knee while you tighten the screw. And do the same on the other side. Attach the top of the center column to the head of the bed, and finally the last piece to the foot of the bed. In the very center of the bed frame, seat the two ends of the middle column pieces into the bracket on top of the foot. The two T-bars should line up on the outside. Again, for this part, it might take a little bit of jiggling to get the screw to go all the way through each hole. If you get stuck, use the allen wrench to advance the screw by turning it clockwise. When putting in the last screw, I put it in in the opposing direction to evenly divide the pressure. And that's the last screw that you'll have to install. Now in each quadrant, you're going to drop in 5 slats. It doesn't matter which way they're facing because these do not get screwed in. Simply push them down into the holder brackets and they should slide in and feel pretty secure. You may have to lean into each corner to get them seated all the way, but be cautious of putting a lot of weight on the center of the bars because this could bend them. This is a queen size memory foam mattress. It doesn't require a box spring and it fits just inside the outside frame. You can see here there's a slight gap from the mattress to the frame that's about a half inch. The mattress also sits down about an inch so it can't slide off the frame. As I jump around on top of the bed, you can hear the slats sliding down into place and setting. But then after that, there's not much squeaking or creaking from the frame at all. Once all the slats are in place, the frame hardly moves. It doesn't slide around or make noise, and I also don't feel like it's sagging under my weight. If I try shaking the mattress, it doesn't rock or tilt either, so overall it's pretty solid. I like the construction quality, although it did take a little longer to assemble than expected. Cosmetic defects aside, I haven't had any major issues with mine. I expect this frame to work well with my mattress, but I'll update this review if the frame starts to fail or if I have other issues. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.